All right, what's up guys? So this is Juna. So back with attempt number, I don't know, 7,000 or so of a basic Leo guide. Right? How to play Leo. Uh, if you're brand new to the series, you're brand new to Leo. If you've no idea which direction to play, uh, I just want to point you in what you should be doing and what he's all about. Very simple stuff like the Minazuki uh, guide. If you saw me make that one a while ago, but yeah. So this is not going to be in depth for anything. Maybe I'll make some more later, but this is just to get you started. Uh, I think it should be helpful. So anyway, let me set a timer so I don't ramble. Ta-da! Okay, so what kind of character is Leo? Uh, so he is, in my opinion, he's very kind of close range. I don't know what you want to call him. Maybe like a mauler. He gets in, he opens you up, and then he loops into himself and over and over and over and over again. Just keeps the pressure until you're dead or you escape. Uh, but he can only really do that when he gets in on you, and that's kind of the, the weakness to Leo, is that he has to be close, yet he's not the most mobile character. So he's got a lot of problem with keep away, and uh, but we, we're not going to worry about that stuff. We'll talk about that some other time. Uh, anyway, he's based off of this. This is the back turn stance, it's called like Brunhilder, or some German word that I can't say. Uh, this stance is cool, because when he's in this stance, he cannot block. But his offensive power gets a lot better. So, as you see, he can just dash right through you. He can go low. Uh, he can go high. As you saw, he can go left or right. He can shield if he's expecting a DP or a mash. Or he can just cancel out and throw you. Uh, what's really cool is that all of these mix-ups will lead right back into the original position. Right? So that's right where we started. If I go high. Ta-da. Again, right back where we started for another mix-up, another attempt, and just slowly you're bringing your opponent down until they're dead. So that, that's where you want to be. Just think of that as your first goal with Leo's. You want to be on top of your opponent in this stance. So how do you do that? You can't just walk up to them like that because you can't block, right? So in order to set up that position, you need to land a hit from your normal stance. Uh, and then just do a basic B&B. &B. So his really basic B&B, &B, which is also the most useful one, you'll still use it at high level play, which is kick slash, heavy slash, Rekka, and then run through. And there we are, we're at that position that I talked about earlier. Uh, what's good about that B&B &B is that it works off every, not everything, but most starters. So like that was off a crouching jab. Uh, for example, if I air dash, again, it just sets itself up like that. Uh, and if you're far away, you can skip the beginning and just heavy slash, Rekka, ta-da, and you're set up like that. So now, that's from your normal stance. Uh, when you're in the back turn stance, things don't really change. Again, you can just do kick slash, heavy slash, Rekka, one, two, three, and there you go. Uh, or if you go high, something simple like that, right? Pretty much all of his combos are, nothing is too fancy, you don't have to worry about uh, levels or, I don't know, spacing so much. He's a very, very easy to, to pick up character. That's why I play him. Uh, what else? What other combo do you need to learn? Oh, let's talk about in the air. This is also... We did ground. We did back turn. Where's jump? Whoops. Sorry, that's not it. There you go. Jump. All right, so obviously if your opponent's in the air... Whoops. Your opponent is in the air. Your Rekka is not going to hit. So how can you get them in that stance? He's got this move, right? Head up. So if this move hits... Dot... See, it leaves them right in that position where you want to be. So you can go for your mix-ups if you time it correctly, which I did not do right there. Yeah, so if catch them in the air, cancel into that move, right? I don't know the name of it. That's one, two, three. What else is important? Ah, oh, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Ready? Ta-da. So from the stance, we showed the combos. Super simple stuff, but what about this shield, right? This shield's really nice. So, uh, if you can land a shield, not like that. If you can... Uh, there we go. Dash forward, S, H, dash, and there you go. You're back in that position, right? So hopefully you're, you understand what I'm talking about. Each little combo I'm doing, each BNB is setting you up for that mix-up potential in that position uh, on top of them. Again, the mix-up, too, is very, very simple. We can do that in another video. Or you can just exper experiment with it on your own. Right? Low, high, 
shield like we went over before. Just mix things up, right? So there's a low. You run through, and then now you dash on the other side, and you go low, right? And now you go low, high. Right? It's really, really, really easy and fun, uh, as long as it hits. Once they block it, he's not so much fun uh, anymore. What else is important to learn with Leo? Okay, let's talk about like in the neutral. So those are all the really those are the only combos you need to know to get started with. I, I'm 100% serious. Those are the only combos you really need to know uh, to get started with. Uh, but how do you actually get started there? Since he's not so mobile. Uh, first of all, this move is amazing. This is a move that is unsafe. The run through. You can be hit out of it. You can be thrown out of it. Uh, but as you see, it's pretty fast. It travels pretty far. Uh, and on hit or block, it leaves you in the back turn stance on top of your opponent if you can run through like that. So, you can... It's really scrubby. It's really scrubby uh, because it is not guaranteed, but Leo is not a super strong character, so you have to take these kind of risks. So stuff just like, even if that's blocked, run on through there. Let's see, how do we make him block here? Stance, guard, here we go. Doop. Ta-da! Alright, now you're in the mix-up zone right there. Uh, oh! Someone's at the door. Let me stop this real quick. Ah! Alright, I'm back with a delivery from Amazon there. What was I talking about? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like neutral game, right? So when he's blocking, what button should you press? Uh, so Heavy Slash is great. As I showed, it also kind of vacuums them in there. Uh, Rekka one hit is also a good tool. So you can use this to kind of cancel your like slash into Rekka. And if the slash happens to hit, if the Rekka hits, then you can kind of confirm into the whole thing. Right? What else does he have in neutral? So 5k is a good move. As you see, it moves him forward there. And like I said before, that leads into his BNB. Uh, jump K is amazing. This move is super good. One of the best jump Ks, I would say. So just... Again, not super amazing, uh, but IAD Jump K is, is a good tool. Of course, it's unsafe like a lot of things he does, but you want to put this kick out early, too, because it's active for a really long time. So just doot. see how early I pressed it and it still hit him pretty much the whole time. Uh, he's got projectiles, slash projectile, kind of cool, but uh, the heavy projectile you can use as a shield running after it and if you have meter duh, 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 if you have meter you can <laughs> well you can YRC uh, to help you get in even more and then of course my favorite move I can even have it hit here the flash kick so the flash kick's really good if you're coming from Street Fighter the charge time is much shorter uh, the, the S version don't worry about that the H version it has invincibility so use that as your reversal uh, and what's cool is that if it hits Ah, uh, whoops, this combo's kind of advanced, but if it hits, it gets a good chunk of damage as well as uh, the mix-up stance. This is like for mid-screen, just something simple like that, and there you go. You're back in the position that I told you uh, you wanted to be at. Okay, so I think this is, that's it. Oh, wait, one more, and then, I'm oh, sorry, 6B. This is also a necessary move. This is his anti-air. Uh, it's really good. Not the best, but make sure you use it. It's got a, a pretty good hitbox uh, on air hit. Let's see, make him jump. Jump. Let's jump. Here it is. Jump. Oh, what? Sorry, that's crouch. I went. There you go. Again, something very simple that ends in the knockdown. Puts you in the stance, and you can continue uh, your mix up game. So, I think that is about it. Alright, I didn't talk too long. Timer done. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That is Leo. How to play Leo. Basics, right? If you didn't do it already, you should do the in-game tutorial just to get familiar with all the buttons, even though you don't need all of them. Uh, it'll just help you get more of a feel of how to play Leo and stuff. Uh, and then I'll, I'll put out another video with more advanced stuff, like uh, his uh, better Oki and corner combos and unblockables and stuff but we'll worry about that in the next one this is enough to get you started i promise you if you just do what i told you you'll be able to beat your friends or get up to maybe rank nine online so anyway if you liked it i don't know hit that follow button subscribe 
Uh, you can ask me questions. I'm always willing to answer uh, on Twitter or on the YouTube comments. And look out for the next Leo video with the more advanced stuff. Soon you'll be as good as I am. I promise. Okay, and that's it. So, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Peace. Alright, and there we got a bonus. If you were wondering earlier in the video, I said, Juno, what, what the hell kind of package came in there? I'll show you. Yeah. Open up. Not very good at that. Get out of the way. Aha! Some manga. I bought a full set of manga. Ping Pong Club. It's a good series. You should check it out if you want. Alright, guys, peace!